Okay, in this problem, they ask us to consider the equation y equals ax squared plus bx plus c when a is not equal to zero. And that's, a, that's the standard form of a quadratic equation in ax squared plus bx plus c format. And that just means that you have an equation where a, b, and c are all numbers. x and y are your variables, and you're going to get a parabola. Here they say, let's multiply a and just a by 3. What is true of the resulting parabola? Well, this is going to be a parabola, and when we multiply it by 3, or when we multiply a by 3, we'll change the shape of the parabola. They're really asking you to think about um, how does that, right, how does that multiplication change the parabola. So if I type in y equals 1x squared, this is uh, GeoGebra, great program, plus 1x, right? We don't know what we don't know what a or b are equal to, so I'll make them equal to 1 so I can get a sense of this problem. You can do this on the graphing calculator as well, uh, but here uh, I think it's clear on GeoGebra. So there's our parabola. And then let's, let's rewrite it so it's y equals 3x squared, so I'm multiplying a by 3, and I'll leave everything else the same, just as they're instructing us to do. And what just happened there? Well, the graph moved a little bit, it shifted to the right, but notice, and I'll just change the color of this here, notice that the, the blue graph is narrower. In other words, it's steeper. So when we multiply by 3, we do change the slope so that it increases. And that would also be true for negative values because they tell us that um, a is not 0, right? They don't say if it's positive or negative, so I'm going to say y equals negative 1x squared this time, plus 1x plus 1. So now we have this upside-down parabola, right? It's in red. And let's multiply that by that a value by 3, that negative value. Let's see how that affects it. So we get negative 3x squared plus 1x plus 1. And again, we get this steeper... Uh, parabola, except this time, I guess you could say it's, it's falling faster. From, so from red to green, the, the rate of change is faster, but it's decreasing the value at a faster rate. So either way, when we multiply a values by numbers um, greater than 1, we, we increase the slope. You could probably imagine if we multiply by a fractional value how the graph would open up even more. So for example, if I had 0.5x squared, so if I multiply by 1 half, Watch what happens here. This time I get a much wider parabola. So this one I'll change the color to, say, purple. So this purple parabola here is the widest of all because its rate of change is the slowest. So when you multiply A by a fraction amount, right, it becomes wider because the rate of change is slower. So here then the answer um, becomes a little bit easier because it's not going to be wider because we're increasing the rate of change. It's going to be narrower. And is it three units to the right or three units above? Well, three units above would be adding the C value. And three units to the right, you can experiment with that and see how that relates to the B value. But if you're stuck on this kind of question, just start with something simple like Y equals 1X squared plus 1X or something plus 1. And then change it according to whatever rules they give you and compare the graphs. There's no need to memorize these things.